Hey guys, it's Matt Wong from Sonic Scoop, and today I'm excited to show you Kinephonium from Plugin Alliance. Now today we're going to go over how to make a really cool wide pad sound using a Kinephonium. Uh, there's some really cool unique features here that I want to dive into, so let's just go right in. Here's our default preset. And first thing I'm going to do is start with the envelope shaping, and I think that's a huge part of a pad. By default, just having it sustain cranked, not really a pad. So let's take velocity off on the envelope two and envelope one. Let's increase the attack time and turn on the time times five constant here. Let's take the sustain down a little bit and increase the decay as well. Next, what we're gonna do is introduce some more voices so I can play a full chord and that one will just make things uh, a little more interesting. So I go to options, voices to four, and then let's play a full chord now. Cool, we're getting a lot closer already to a pad. Next, what I'm going to do is take the frequency down of the filter just to soften things. And I'm going to take decay down a little as well and actually sustain higher. What we're going to go into next is taking the mod of the filter amount just a little higher, setting it to plus for envelope one, slow attack time, slow decay time, and little to no sustain really. And let's increase the release amount too with both of these. Take the frequency down now. We're actually frequency down, mod filter amount up and time times five as well for envelope one. It's a little lower. Cool. I'm really liking this pad sound already. So I'm gonna introduce VCO2 now and I just wanna keep the sound, but make it a little wider. So I'm gonna do it right now by having the same exact settings with VCO2 as VCO1. I'm going to just detune VCO1 just by negative seven cents. I'm going to increase the fine tune here on VCO2 plus seven cents. Now having the two just slightly out of tune with one another is really going to um, create some pulsations and really widen the sound, make it a little thicker. And let's hear all the sounds now. filter amount just a little lower too and this a little higher cool so i really like the sound um it's a lot more wide and we can even spread it a little more over here i'm just going to spread vco1 a little bit by 50 percent nice wide sound. One last thing I want to talk about with the pad here before we go into effects is in the filter, you see there's a little MS uh, knob here. So you can actually have mid-side access with a filter, which is really cool. And I don't think I could think of a plugin that, that has this. Brainworks has a lot of really cool mid-side plugins uh, on the plugin line site you can check out. But the ability to just filter out the uh, high end on just the sides means that you could just have a really bright sound in the mid channel and then nothing too bright on the sides. And that would really call your attention to the middle or to the center of the mix. Or you can go the other way around and you can filter out all the high end on the mid channel and you could keep the sides sounding very bright. And there's a lot of really interesting reasons you might want to do that. But just the ability to, to use the filter for either the mid or the side channel or both, it's pretty uh, unique and I'm pretty happy with it. 
So let's try that. Let's take the mid side. It's at 100 and 100 uh, by default. So it's filters applied to both the mid and the side channel equally. But let's take it down all the way and hear this. And let's go the other way now. So it's pretty cool, a lot of fun to play around with. Um, highly encourage you to do it. But I'm just gonna set back to 100 and 100. And now let's just go add a little bit of reverb. Let's hear that. Can take the feedback down a little bit. And by default, I find this reverb is very cool, but just a little on the bright side. But that's fine because we actually have this beautiful EQ Ranger, which I'll just put right next to the reverb. And I'm just gonna take everything at 10K down uh, by quite a bit, actually. And let me try taking it down 4K a bit. And let's hear how this sounds now. So it's very easy to make a wide sounding pad uh, using Kinephonium, and I hope you enjoyed checking out some of these features we talked about today. Uh, the MS stuff in particular is really cool, as well as the spreading of oscillators. Feel free to try out some of the other effects and see how you can take a pad that's very simple like this and just really push it into the future. Uh, I've been Matt Wong. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to stick around and check out some of the other ones we'll be posting soon. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you.